In today's video, I have to survive 100 days in ancient Rome. I have three objectives. First, create a stage three Roman palace. Second, defeat Vulcan, the god of weaponry. And third, find and defeat Pluto, the god of war. What in the world is that? Hmm, I've never seen anything like that. Let's go take a look. Whoa, is that some sort of... Oh my gosh, that almost scared the hair off of my head. What is that? It looks like some sort of portal. All right, let's jump in in three, two, one, go. Oh gosh, okay, where the heck am I? I don't see painful anywhere. I'll have to get my bearings first. And so my journey began on day one. And while getting stone tools, I realized only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. If you do enjoy this week's video, subscribing is greatly appreciated. So after gathering my stone tools, I ended up finding some giraffes. This gave me a sign that I definitely was not in the overworld. I then gathered myself a little extra wood. After some traveling, I ended up finding some cows and some sheep. And after traveling for the rest of the day, I ended up finding some ancient ruins. There was a chest inside with some gold, bones, and string. I then continued exploring and found a cave on day three. This cave led to a dead end with a zombie spawner at the very end. So I blocked off the zombie spawner and decided to mine a bit of iron that I found as well as some coal. I then went back to the zombie spawner, took out the zombies, fought a zombie in full gold armor that dropped me a chest plate, and got a saddle, horse armor, and a golden apple from the chest. I then made some iron tools, went out, and started to mine a ton of wood. I was going to need all this wood to start working on my base. After I was finished, I found an ideal spot on the top of a hill and start to work on my base from days four to five. If you guys enjoy these time lapses, make sure to hit that like button. It helps my channel tremendously, is completely free, and is very appreciated. After finishing the roof of my house, I went out and found some nearby water, and then behind my house, worked on a little fenced off area, and made myself a little wheat farm. After completing that, I decided to leave my base and start looking for a cave. On day six, I had finally found a cave, and for the next three days, I started to mine a bunch of iron, coal, emeralds, and found my first set of diamonds. I also found a bunch of other ores, smelted up my iron, iron and made a full set of iron armor. I also made myself a diamond pick and kept on mining for a little bit longer. I then returned back to the surface on day 10 and saw some ancient ruins, but then... What is that? Okay, he's looking at me now. I gotta run. He does not look like someone I can deal with. And after seeing this super tall guy, I decided to run for my life. It didn't help that he was pretty fast, so I tried climbing up the hill, but it looked like he was catching up. So I kept on trying to use the hill to my advantage, gained a little bit of distance, and found myself near some trees. Okay. I think I may have lost him. So after taking that detour away from my base, I finally returned on day 12. It took a nice long rest. On the start of day 13, I harvested my wheat farm, replanted my seeds, cleared out an area and fenced it off to put in some sheep and cows, lured in some sheep and bred them, found some cows and lured them over as well. And then while looking for more animals, I ended up finding an ostrich. This guy is pretty big too. I then returned back to base and bred my animals again and went back to the ruins where I got chased. I made sure to check my surroundings. I ended up finding a chest, but there was nothing inside. Whatever that was must have looted it already. While running down the coast, I ended up finding some hippos in a little pool. I tried approaching them, but then one bit me, so I backed up and decided to get a bunch of sand for brewing later. But a hippo snuck up behind me and started to attack me, so I had to defend myself with my shield, landed a hit, and defeated the hippo. I then continued mining sand till my shovel broke. Now day 20, I found some weird-looking clock tower. It looked oddly familiar for some reason. When I approached it, I realized what it was, but then there was a pack of wild dogs that started to attack me. There was a bunch of them, and I was using my shield to the best of my ability and tried to take them out one by one. I took out a couple, but I was taking way too much damage. They brought me down to two hearts, so I made a run for it. A few of them started to chase me, and one of the wild dogs kept on chasing me. What the heck was this guy's problem? After a good look, I was 100% sure that clock tower was the same one that had the mysterious portal that led us here. While running away from the dog, I finally used a water bucket to create some distance and got attacked by a phantom and got brought down to one HP. So I quickly popped a gapple, blocked one of its hits, and kept on running and managed to escape the phantom. Returning back to base, on day 22. But then when I had finally arrived, where the heck did my base go? What could have caused this crater? If there was anything that could have done this, it might have been that guy that chased me before. He could have definitely found my base. I was gonna need to find a new location to build a home. So after realizing I basically had nothing left, I started looking for a new spot. So I crossed the river and got some salmon. And after about a day of travel, I found myself in this desert biome and decided to make a base in this spot. I cleared out a big area, gathering a ton of sandstone and sand. I also gathered myself some clay, went mining for some 
more ores, collected some salmon, collected a bunch more wood, made a giant crafting table, made reinforced wood, reinforced sandstone, and then with a giant crafting table, using all of those materials, I crafted myself a stage one Roman house. I then placed it down and watched as it built itself. It wasn't too big, but it looked pretty cool. So I started to move all my stuff inside this new home. Since I was pretty broke, I decided to mine for the next five days, gathering all sorts of ores, mining a bunch of diamonds. And after mining a bunch of redstone and more diamonds, I found myself an abandoned mine shaft. I found some gold in it and a minecart chest that had some melon seeds. On day 34, I decided to pillar back up and head back to base. On the way home, I ended up finding a desert village, gathered the hay bales, borrowed some of their crops, and used one of their camels to travel back to my base. I finally returned on day 36 with my camel and crafted myself full diamond armor. I then made myself some crops, planted down some wheat seeds, made myself a little melon farm, went to go search for some sugar cane, which I found after a bit. And on my way back home, I ended up finding a rhino. It charged at me, so I took a couple swings, it hit me a few times, but I managed to defeat the rhino. I then planted down my sugar cane, returned back to base and harvested my wheat, and then I decided to go out exploring on day 39. After a while, I ended up finding a nether looking area, which had blazes, soul sand, and magma cubes. I defeated a bunch of blazes and magma cubes, and afterwards collected a bunch of soul sand and nether warts that were around this lava lake. I then collected some obsidian and glowstone, and then returned back to base. I then made myself an enchantment table and enchanted my diamond armor. I then started to work on gathering materials for my stage 2 Roman house, so I returned back to the nether area to mine as much nether quartz as I could. I returned back to base with my materials, and crafted reinforced quartz pillars, reinforced quartz, and using the giant crafting table, crafted my stage 2 Roman house. I then got rid of a tree and clear out an area to place down my new house, threw it down, and watched as it sprang up. This house definitely had a lot more room, and looked a lot nicer. It had a first and second floor, so I lit it up, made a brewing and enchantment area, planted down some nether wart, and took a nice long nap. I then went out and harvested some sugar cane, placed down some bookshelves to complete my enchantment room, and on day 49, I brewed myself strength potions, speed potions, and I also made myself some instant health splash potions. On day 50, I decided to go out and return back to my zombie spawner, and turn this zombie spawner into an EXP grinder. I wanted to get some good enchantments on my tools and weapons, so I cleared out the whole area, made a separate room, blocked off the spawner, and then made a waterway so all the zombies could flow into one area so that I could grind out the XP. And it worked like a charm. So for the rest of day 53, I grinded a bunch of EXP, and once I started heading back to base, I actually ran into a pack of leopards. Luckily, I was already in full diamond armor, so they didn't do a ton of damage, but after fighting them for a bit, they managed to break my shield. So I was gonna need to make a new one later. On day 56, I finally made it back to base, and then decided to gamble on a level 30 enchantment on a sword. It did have looting 3, but a bane of arthropods. I then gathered my nether wart, grabbed my potions, and decided to go exploring. And on day 61, I ended up running into a strange looking coliseum. So I entered the coliseum, looked around a bit, and didn't see anything. But then when I looked behind me, it was blocked off. I looked back, and it was the same guy that had chased me down. And before I knew it, I was getting attacked from behind by Roman soldiers. They were heavily equipped with shields and swords, so I knew I was gonna have to be careful. I tried taking them out one by one while backing up, and did my best not to waste any potions. I blocked a lot of their hits with my shield, and used most of my food to try and regen. After a while, I had finally taken out the rest of the Roman soldiers, and I looked back up at him, and he jumped down. Lightning struck as his feet hit the ground, and his name was Vulcan, the god of weaponry. So I started to land some hits, and in one hit, he brought me down to half health. This guy was really strong, and I was gonna have to play this really carefully. He landed another huge hit, so I threw down a pot and put myself out with a water bucket. I tried dodging the hits at first, which did not work at all, but I managed to land a bunch more hits, but then Vulcan slammed the ground and sent me flying into the air. Luckily, I broke my fall with a water bucket, but if I didn't, I would have died there. I kept on trying to land as many hits as I could, and he brought me down to two hearts, so I splashed down two potions and got knocked back again. This water bucket was coming in real handy. I managed to block his hit this time and was trying to do as much damage as I could. I knew I was nearing the end, but he landed another big hit, so I had to throw down a bunch more potions. I then went back in and landed the final hit on Vulcan, the god of weaponry. I did it. I had defeated him, and I actually received reforged Vulcan gold. So I pillared out of this Coliseum and started to head back home. On my way back, I actually ran into some more ostriches and found out you could actually ride them. So I took the time to bring this ostrich all the way back to my base. Also, if you like the scape I have on, you can get it by clicking the link in the description. I then arrived back home on day 65, crafted myself a new diamond sword, and then crafted that into a Vulcan spear. I then crafted a Vulcan shield and crafted myself full Vulcan armor. I made this with the gold I had gotten from the boss, and I thought this armor set looked really awesome. So now I needed to enchant it, so I headed back to my zombie spawner and grinded out a bunch of levels. After grinding out a bunch more levels, I returned back to base and enchanted myself Protection 4 Boots, Protection 3 Leggings, a Sharpness 2 Spear, and Protection 3 Chestplate. I then harvested my wheat farm, harvested some melon,
melons and harvested my nether wart. I then brewed up some new instant health potions. I also made some emergency fire resistance potions, and I thought it was about time to head back to the nether area to mine a bunch more nether quartz. This time, I was going to gather materials for my stage 3 Roman house, so I needed all the nether quartz I could possibly get. I then returned back to base and made reinforced quartz, reinforced quartz pillars, smelted up some cobblestone to make reinforced stone brick, and using the giant crafting table and a couple of diamonds, I crafted myself a stage 3 Roman mansion. So I went outside and tried looking for a spot to build it, found a pretty clear spot that was right next to my base. So I threw down the stage 3 mansion, and out it popped. It got buried a little bit into the sand, so I spent a day clearing it out, but after clearing it out, it looked really good. I then toured the interior, and this place had plenty of room. It had three different stories, guest rooms, and even a little pool in the backyard. So I started moving in everything and realized I had a kitchen too. I then furnished the interior and decided to go exploring for Painful. While exploring, I saw some elephants, but then I saw something in the distance. What the heck? Who was that? Oh, oh god, okay, I need to run. I didn't know what the heck this guy was, so I decided to just run away at first, but I didn't know where the heck to run to. So I tried jumping off and got smited mid-air and launched into the water. Luckily, I landed safely, but that was a really close call. But then I decided if there was any time to fight him, it'd be now. So I built up some courage, but all that was left were the elephants. Where could he have gone? I then decided to try and track him down, and after a few days of travel, I thought I had found his base. There was a mysterious cave, so I entered inside, and there ended up being a bunch of lions inside. It was a lion's den. There was kind of no running from here, so I had to fight a bunch of lions. But luckily, using my spear and my shield, managed to take them all out. There ended up being nothing in that cave, so I kept traveling and ended up running into a bunch of rhinos. I actually got taken down pretty low and had to splash down some health potions. I then accidentally used some sort of ability that the spear had. Apparently, it was capable of shooting fire. It was pretty cool. I then returned back to base on day 86, started getting to work on brewing myself some new potions, harvested all of my farms, made more instant health, crafted some golden apples, and enchanted a bow with power 3 flame 1. I now felt like I was ready to track down Pluto, and actually found some armadillos while I was trying to track him down. And while climbing up a hill on day 93, I finally found something. I zoomed in, and it looked like it was some sort of temple. So I kept on climbing the mountain, and once I reached the top, I started getting bowed by some Roman soldiers. So I fired my bow at them, and blocked all their shots on my Vulcan shield. I then started taking them out one by one with my spear, and after defeating all the bowmen, I decided it was time to step inside of this temple. Behind the door was Pluto, the god of war, and he cast down a ton of lightning. Also, since he was able to fly, I used my spear ability, then started bowing him down. He even smited me, but I just kept on bowing him over and over. He finally came low enough to where I could hit him and landed a huge shot, bringing me down to where I had to use a potion. He then cast even more lightning and flew back up into the air. I then used my spear's fire ability and landed a nice hit. I tried closing the distance and got shot into the air. Luckily, I broke my fall with my water bucket, but I ate a golden apple and started to bow him down even more. I tried landing some more hits, and he literally summoned a tornado. This guy was no joke. He was able to control the weather. I then went in again to land some more hits, and he casted some more lightning. I tried breaking my fall, but it didn't work that time. I was able to land a bunch more hits while he was closer to the ground, but he did a lot of damage and kept on smiting me. I ate another golden apple, and then took another huge hit. After eating another golden apple, I decided to go back in and got hit by a ton of lightning, but I managed to land some really important hits. He then casted another tornado, but I kept on bowing him down. I thought maybe it was time to close the distance, but he knocked me up straight into the air, and I took a ton of fall damage. He was starting to get really low, so I started to attack him again, took a ton more fall damage, and threw down another health pot. I then used my last health potion and knew I needed to finish him off. I landed a bunch of hits, tanked one, and then defeated Pluto, the god of war. So after I had finally defeated him, I decided to head back home, and finally made it back on day 97. For the next couple of days, I prepared some new potions, harvested my crops to get some more food, and decided to start heading back to that clock tower that I found before. Before. On day 100, I had finally found myself back at the clock tower, and then... Forest, it's nice to see you again. Right back at ya. Let's find a way out of here. Over here, I think I found something. Whoa, it's like a secret passageway or something. What is this place? Oh gosh, that scared me. The portal is back. Let's get out of here. Okay, three, two, one, jump! Man, it feels great to be back in the overworld. If you guys made it this far, make sure to check out Painful's video. We each had different objectives, which made our videos a lot different. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.